Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing five ways to maintain your milk supply while dieting. So if you are new to the channel, my name is Tiffany. I am a 30 year old mom to a almost three year old little girl and a nine week old little boy. And I've been exclusively breastfeeding for practically three years straight. So although all of my advice has been given to me from healthcare providers, lactation consultants, and doctors, please make sure before you start any type of diet or exercise routine, you are consulting your doctor to make sure that it is safe for you, especially if pregnant or breastfeeding. All right, so the very first tip I'm gonna give you is do not diet right away. So by that I mean as soon as you give birth don't think you're going to drop the weight go on a diet or exercise routine one especially within the first six weeks you want to take that time to really just heal and not worrying about diet or exercising during that process but it is super important as a breastfeeding mama the first 48 hours you're really just producing cholesterol so it takes a while for your body to actually produce milk it does seem to be faster if you are a second time mom like me I was able to have my milk come in within the first 24 hours versus my first time within the first 48 hours. The next two weeks is going to be spent cluster feeding with your little one. Your body is adjusting to all the hormones and everything is just kind of balancing and regulating out. So if you throw any type of diet or exercise into this, it causes you to either have lactation problems or not produce enough milk for a little one. But generally your doctor is going to have you wait for six to eight weeks as a good rule of thumb before you start dieting or exercising. The second tip I'm going to give you is eat enough calories. I know especially when you're dieting and you want to like lose the weight really fast the things you think about is eat less but you want to make sure you are eating enough calories you're just choosing better options so as a good rule of thumb 1800 calories is around the ballpark you want to consume while you are breastfeeding if you consume any less than that it can cause a dip in your supply so just make sure you're choosing healthier options and adding some type of exercise in this way you're burning some calories as well but again talk to your doctor to see what the recommended calorie intake is for you. All right, guys, so when it comes to those calories, again, you wanna make sure you're just choosing healthier options because a slice of cake can be really close to 1800 calories versus a few salads that we can intake. But you wanna make sure you are adding in milk boosting superfoods. So there is a huge list online that you can find for things that will actually help you boost your milk supply, which is really good when it comes to dieting or exercising. This way you don't see any type of dip in your supply. Some of those things could be like oat milk, in the morning or you can do some types of like smoothies I know there's a lot of like lactation smoothies that are out there I will actually leave a list that I follow when it comes to foods I should eat while breastfeeding down in the description box below so if you guys are curious so it's super easy for you to go back and follow later all right so tip number four is you want to eat more meals just smaller portions so this will help boost your metabolism it aids in digestion and as a nursing mom it makes sure that you do not go too long without eating if you go too long without eating or you try to do any type of fasting that can really hurt your milk supply so again it's all about portion controls and healthier options so generally you would do like a breakfast and then a snack a lunch then a snack and then dinner and a healthy dessert and I know a lot of us think like ice cream as dessert if you do want to do that I like to choose halo top they're really low calorie desserts and a lot of them are actually dairy free but you can also do like a yogurt parfait with some fruit and honey things like that so that it's still sweet but it's still healthy. All right and tip number five is to do on-demand breastfeeding which I know for a lot of us nursing moms on-demand feeding is something we normally do but especially when your baby is super young under six months you don't want to put them on any type of schedule. If they are hungry it is okay to feed them and it's actually really good for you too. So I don't know if you guys know this nursing can burn as much as 500 calories or more. That's the same as a 30 minute run you guys like give me the baby. So let that baby baby eat this will actually cause a cluster feeding effect as well which when your baby cluster feed your body creates more milk the more you nurse them the more milk you create and the more calories you burn which is totally a win-win when you're trying to shed this baby weight all right guys but I hope this video helped you out if it did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you know another nursing mama who is about to go on a diet make sure to send this video her way by selecting that share button as well and if you're interested to see how to boost your milk supply in five easy steps overnight go ahead and click that button down there and if you're new and you want to see more breastfeeding videos you can subscribe by hitting that circle icon up above but as always guys we love you and I will see you in the next one